Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Sorry if I sound a little weird. Currently, I actually have um, upper respiratory infection, so I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm, I'm fine. Um, so yeah, so this video actually was suggested by um, a... Oh, where is she? Here we go. By her. So big shout out to her for um, telling me, letting me uh, come up with this video idea. Um, and this video is just about breeding because obviously these um, event that's coming up is the breeding event. Now, if, you, for, if you're new to the game, don't know what a breeding event is. Basically, what you do is to get points, you have to breed certain dragons, whatever dragons you want, um, and you use breeding tokens, which you get through just playing the game, uh, through events, and all that type of stuff. You, so you can use breeding tokens, and then there's the second way to get points is using Mystic Fragments. Now, Mystic Fragments are fairly hard to get. Um, the only way you can really get a lot of them is through opening up a bunch of gold chests, which, if you spend money, yeah, sure, it's going to be easy. Um, but if you're free to play, getting these is definitely going to be a challenge for you. So, again, you spend Egg Tokens, and you, speed, sorry, and you spend Mystic Fragments. Now, in terms of strategies there are some tips and tricks that i want to talk about with this video and that is the first which is what do you do in a breeding event if you can't get any more dragons if you're level locked and that is definitely a big issue because if you're not level 90 yet you can't get any more platinum sorry you can't get any uh platinum dragons yet because well sorry you can you can i believe get immune and you can get some of the rares but you cannot incubate them. So once you get them, and you're not level 90, that's it. Um, because unfortunately, once until you can incubate them, you're not going to be able to breed any other uh, dragon for one, and also two, you can't even work on any other ones because these are needed. So if you're in a level lock situation, which a good amount of people actually are, what you can do is two things. One, you just don't do anything in the event, which is something that I used to do. Um, which, I mean, isn't necessarily a bad thing, because what you really want to focus on is trying to get to, if you're free to play, get to Ryzar ASAP, um, because Ryzar is really going to be the monster that you're going to use. So, wasting a lot of egg tokens, and especially Mystic Fragments, which is a mistake I did, to get points, if you're not spending any money at all, that's a very, very bad idea. Do not do it. It's for sure not worth it. Um, you're just going to end up going way sad because this is what I did with Fractus. 164. Over 100 of those were Mystic Fragments that I used to get points. Was a big mistake. I probably could have gone after that and Renard by now if I had not done that. So never, ever waste. I don't care if you need points or if your team needs points. Well, okay, hold on. If your team needs points, then maybe. But if you are just trying to get points for yourself, don't use Mystic Fragments. Um, because PG could make the prizes better in the next event, which in that case, you would want to use it in the event that's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck, right? So yeah, never use Mystic Fragments for trying to get dragons if you're level locked. Or, so yeah, those are two options. Don't do anything, which is what I would suggest. Mo more, more times than not, do not work on dragons that you're not going to use. Um... And the second thing is, you can work on, uh, well, three things actually. Sorry. You can you can work on dragons that you're never going to use and try to get every dragon in the game. Two, you don't do anything. Or three, you can work on getting uh, research eggs. Now, this is a question I've asked, been asked so many times. Um, and the best way to do is ex to explain it is in a video. How do you get research eggs? Now, people say, like, okay... Well, I have, you know, how can you get 20 green eggs? Because there's not 20 green dragons. Um, you know, because they're like, well, there's, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. There actually might be, hold on. For, yeah, there's not, yeah, okay, cool. There's not 20 green dragons. How do you get that? So what you have to do is that once you get, see how it, there's a little check mark. That means you have this egg. Now, the best way to get, um, research eggs is that you have to fill this up again you have to get this 96 out of 96 um and what i want to show you guys really quickly is 
What, okay, here. There's a ter- there's a term called research eggs, right? And to get those, you act- there's certain situations or um, basically combinations of dragons that you can use to get a certain amount of. Uh, sorry, to get research eggs a lot easier. Let me go in. I should have done this probably a lot a long time ago, but yeah. So to get red eggs, well, all you have to do is you get you pair up Draco and Frank, and you get Zen eggs, and it costs 20 egg tokens to do. So that means that when you... Okay, actually, you know what? This would be a lot easier if I would just go down here. So if I want Zen, right? You own this dragon, you click once. Breed anyway. Boom. You get one red research egg every single time you do that. That's 20 egg tokens worth, right? So because I only hit it once. Now, you then to get purple eggs... Um, man, that's actually kind of annoying. This is, you have to do Frig and Clax. Frig is, Frig and Clax give you Trollis, which is right here. Click that once, and you get another one. That's how you get purple. Blue, you get Gog and Balder, which will give you Balder, um, which really doesn't make any sense. But that costs 100 egg tokens, so that means you have to click the button five times to get one blue egg. Now, orange eggs are actually pretty simple, and that's only, where is it? This right here. Um, it only costs one, one, okay, hold on. It's actually technically Angkor and Slinks um, and whatnot. But yeah, so basically, to get orange eggs, you only have to click it once. Now, once you get past orange, it's 800 egg tokens for one green research. And that's Gnosis. Um, Nasius or whatever. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't say it right. Um, this is when it starts to get very expensive. And again, guys, you never want to try to do this with, um, never ever try to get research eggs from trying to breed another egg from a mythic dragon, for example, or an epic or legendary. Always go with the smallest tier. Never go for anything more than that. What I mean by that is never try to get research eggs from epics always because rares are almost always going to be better um in terms of you're gonna have to spend less uh re- sorry less eggs because it doesn't take as many fragments to fill it up to get gold eggs it's 2,000 egg tokens and that's will garner and if as the parents and you get lumen that's how to get research eggs and you can use them for research so that's what you do if you cannot use sorry if you cannot sorry if you can't get any more dragons due to level lock that's what you can do um personally what i would do in most situations, is wait. You don't want to waste your egg, your egg tokens if at all possible. If you spend a lot of money and you're planning on doing so, then yes, go ahead and get whatever dragons you want. Honestly, I would focus on research eggs personally because research can actually make or break an attack. Um, and it has several times in the past for me personally. So yeah, I know that was a long explanation for a very simple thing, but a lot of people ask about it, so I want to make sure I cover that. So this is what... Um, she asked me to cover, and this is what you should do in turn, how you should use your uh, Mystic Fragments. And this is actually something that I feel is pretty important to know because, again, Mystic Fragments give you, for each one you use, it gives you 20 points. So every 100 you use is going to basically give you 2,000 points. All right? Because 100, okay, I I'm, need to make sure, you know what, I'm... Peel made for me because I can't do math. Times 20. Yeah, 2,000. 2,000 points. In the breeding event, that's actually very good. Um, so, do not waste Mystic Fragments. Now, if you want to get... Now, if you want to try to be as efficient as possible, which I would highly suggest doing so, there's a kind of a, a strategy that I would say to use. First off, is only use them when you're not, if okay, so think about it like this, okay, when you're when you're trying to breed a certain dragon that costs a ton of egg tokens, okay, if it costs a ton of egg tokens and does not cost a lo- and it only has a few egg fragments needed to max it, or sorry to get it. So for example, let's say you want to try to get Lucius and Luminarch, okay. So, Lucius and Luminarch. Luminarch is going to be a, um, where is he? She's orange, right? Yeah. 
an orange epic dragon. So what this means is that you're you're having to spend this amount of egg tokens to get these. By the way, guys, quick side note, use breeding guides. I made a video on breeding guides going over my opinion on which ones are better. If you want to check it out, um, it will. it's on my channel. Just search up, even on YouTube, I think. If you search up X and Mrs. X breeding guides, um, it should pop up. I would highly suggest checking that out if you have not already. But oh my, there's so many divines though. Um, but anyway, so okay, so it costs 48 fragments to get Luminarch, and then for um, Lucius, it costs 20. So 48 and 20 give you 68, right? So I'm doing this in calculator right now just because I want to show you exactly what's going on. Um, okay, so you have 68, okay? Now, if it costs 2,000, wait, sorry, 8,000 egg tokens for those two. Okay, 8,000 egg tokens. Okay, divided by 68, I believe. Right? I know, guys, this is, it's cringy, but okay. So, what this means is that it takes 117 egg tokens per one fragment. Per one fragment. Now, a lot of people say, okay, well, I don't really want to get Lucius, which, by the way, get him because you need him. Um, to get some other dragons, but people say, okay, I don't want to breed Lucius, so I'll just do Lam Luminarch, right? You can't, because when you breed them together, it's gonna, you're going to get both of them. There's not a way to do it separately unless you want to spend a lot more egg tokens. So follow the breeding guides, because you can't, you can't venture off and only get one at a time unless you want to spend an insane amount. So that means 100, basically you have to click the button We'll round up because it's only about 20. Six times for one egg fragment for one of these. So that means one mystic fragment will save you 120 egg tokens. Basically, so that's, that's what it's saying. 180 egg tokens. So, sorry, 120. So, but let's say you want to get, maybe you're a higher level. So let's say you want to get, I don't know, um... Rizar and Kaiju, okay? So both of those take up 800, and it takes 64,000 right here, okay? So you take the amount of egg tokens that's needed, divide it by the fragments that you need, and it's 80. So 80 egg tokens will get you one fragment. So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. It's not necessarily based on what tier it is, but if you want to be the most efficient, do these steps. Look at the dragon you're trying to get. If let's say you have a certain amount of dragons you're aiming for. Let's say you're trying to get like this, this one right here. This one down to here. So you're going to get in at Ith, Etten, Amrock, Durga, Cerebus, Septus, Munin, Hugin, Lumen. All those. And you want to use your Mystic Fragments, which I would suggest doing so. Because you want Etten. What you want to do is you want to go through and see how much egg, sorry, egg fragments it takes to get Etten and Ith, combine those, so add them together, right? And then divide 27,500 by that number to see how exact... And I know, guys, you might think, okay, why would anyone do that, guys? People do it. If you want to play the game, and if you want to get really good pretty quickly, especially if you're free to play, you're going to want to do this. Trust me. I didn't do it, and now I am fairly behind on breeding for my main account. Take, take, keep this, keep this in mind, guys. Um, so yeah, so if you're going to do that, see which one you want to use the egg fragments on. I would highly suggest not doing any because, okay, so you might notice that like Inky only costs 700 breeding tokens. And let's say, you know, Cerbero only 2,000, Nosfer only 3,000. CTH, who's a legendary dragon, is only 5,000. People say, well, I'm going to put in a legendary dragon because it's worth more. Not necessarily. It depends on how many egg tokens it costs to get that dragon. Well, I just wasted five minutes talking about this. I shouldn't have, but, you know, oh, well, that's fine. If you guys are still watching this, I'm actually very impressed. Um, but, yeah, so either way. So that's that. This is how you should use your Mystic Fragments. Um, let me know down in the comments if that makes any sense at all. Um, probably doesn't, honestly, but 
If it doesn't, I will make a completely new video and redo all that uh, while showing the equations that I'm using. But yeah, so that's that's that. Okay. Um, by the way, guys, I'm not playing on my phone. I'm playing on my second tablet. So sorry about this. Um, it kind of sucks, honestly. Because I'm because right now my tablet actually ended up breaking. So yeah, fortunately. So looks like it will not connect. So that's okay. I'll go and show you guys really quickly. Which breeding, sorry, not which breeding guide. Um, if you look right here, you'll notice that it says red, purple, blue, like up here. Right here. Okay. Um, what this is saying is that the, that's the number of breeding tokens that you're going to get whenever you breed these dragons. And you'll notice as you get farther down, you'll notice there's no egg tokens. The reason why this is, is that you there's well one there's not any um there's not any like it doesn't have a tier for sapphire for whatever egg tokens and like platinum as well because you can't get there's no research for emerald or uh obsidian or i believe garnet um so you can get platinum and you can get sapphire eggs from doing these like sapphire garnet and emerald matrixes and whatnot um when you're breeding it just doesn't show on most uh sites so just just putting that out there because someone asked me in one of my group chats about it so yeah that's this video um just a semi quick guide on breeding events how to do it also actually hold on so a common question that i get asked is you know when should you open up gold chest if you need egg tokens open it up not on breeding events it might seem counterproductive but the thing is for some reason Someone did a test, and the average uh, egg token drops are less during breeding events. That might it might have just been random, but I think he did like two hundred gold chests over a series of like three or four months. Um, if I can find that, he sent someone sent me a spreadsheet with that. I'll have to f figure it out. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. Um, but yeah, do not open it if you think. I mean. You can open it if you want. Um, it give it still. I think he still got a lot of egg tokens from that, but other events gave him more. Um, and guys, if you want egg tokens, never ever open during major events. Never. It's not worth it because again, you're gonna get other consumables such as inner fires, such as energy packs, and what other whatever other consumables now are in these events because there's so many different ones now. There's like four hundred different like items that you can get that will give you bonuses in events. So. Yeah, either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did leave a like down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.